How's it going, Vandals? I'm Johnny, and welcome back to Graphic Vandalism. Oh, heck yeah, it's new video time. This one is Do You Reminder? And look at five books from the very incredibly talented Rick Reminder that I find just tragically underrated. Now, if you watch my videos, I'm sure you can ascertain Rick is one of my favorites. And with books like Deadly Class, Low, and Seven to Eternity to his name, it's not hard to see why. But how about we take a look at some of his amazing lesser known works? Sounds fun? Okay then, let's just get into it. All right, first up is the moody psychological horror epic, Nightmare, with art by Kieran Dwyer, published by IDW. Now, Nightmare is a book that just dives deep into the subconscious and tells a tale that will chill you to the bone, all about dreams, guilt, and obsession. The story for this one is all about Mary, a dream specialist who is a master at lucid dreaming, and she helps people with traumatic nightmares try and face their fears. But something is going wrong. Something is making Mary's patients have psychotic homicidal breaks, and in a rush for time, Mary has to try and stop it before she becomes a victim and just wow this book hits hard gets savage quick and i just love it i also love the different art styles between the waking and dreaming worlds this book is a wonderful gut punch of a horror comic Cool, cool. Now, let's look at Doll and Creature with fast, detailed, monster-mashing art by John Hibbink, published by Image Comics. Now, there are a few things I downright love, those being punk rock, B-movies, and 80s and 90s trash cinema. And Doll and Creature blend all of them together perfectly and tells a brawling juggernaut of a fun-as-hell story all about a party girl named Doll in the wrong place at the wrong time who gets dragged into an underworld war between B-movies style monsters she has to knuckle up quick and fight alongside gristle her new monster partner and guide through this new world she's fallen into and i just have a ball with this book it's one of rick's most downright fun works full of killer boss battles and crazy creatures i very highly recommend this book yo right on now Let's hop on over to Sea of Red, with art by Sal Good Sam and Paul Harmon, published by Image Comics. Now, where to start with this odd fever dream of a comic? Well, first off, Rick really pulled out all the punches with this one, and made a jaw-droppingly epic, and at times emotional thrill ride about vampire pirates. Vampirates? Okay, well, this book is all about a man found stranded at sea who gets rescued by pirates. But there is way more going on with them than what seems. And when he discovers their true nature, they turn him and send him to the bottom of the ocean, consigned to an immortal life of darkness, until he is discovered by a film crew in a submarine in modern times. And this is where the adventure really starts. And damn! Does this book just stay on point and stay extremely entertaining? Full of monster fights, swashbuckling, and even some mad kung fu, all paired with a lovely limited art palette of black, white, and red. It's just so incredible. This book needs to be read to be believed. Super sweet. Now, on to the glorious post-rapture action drama Strange Girl, with art by Eric Nguyen, published by Image Comics. And I am literally at a loss for words for why this book is still so unknown. It's the book where I learned to love Rick's emotional gut punches, and that he can work his dramatic magic with just about any kind of story. This book takes place in a post-rapture world overran by demons and magic. We get taken on a rebellious joyride through this hell on earth with Bethany, a a snotty as hell punk rock human girl taken as a slave by a demon but she has been secretly stealing and learning demonic magic and spells to escape with her friend Balato to try and find her brother who she was separated from after the rapture and man this book will go from wild to deep as hell at the drop of a hat as Bethany has to deal with zealots who have taken over a military base and all kinds of other horrors this world has to offer and the ending Wow, it's powerful stuff. I'm not kidding. If you even have a passing interest in Rick or his works, you need to read Strange Girl. It's just so darn good, yo. 
right on. And last but surely not least, let's look at The End League with art by Matt Broom and Eric Cante, published by Dark Horse Comics. Now, Rick has done quite a few superhero books, but in my opinion, none of them hold a candle to The End League. This book is really just truly epic and at times downright heartbreaking and reminds me of what we'd get if you mixed Fist of the North Star with Darwin Cook's New Frontier. This book is about a team of superheroes in a post-apocalyptic world that favors the might of villainy. This group of heroes has no choice but to keep fighting because if they quit, they'll still be hunted and killed. And oh my gosh, Vandals, the fight and the struggle in this book is just so brutal and hardcore. Every time I read this book, I love it even more. And it just blows me away how much better this book is than any event Big 2 has to offer. On the real, this is a must-read book for any and all comic book fans, yo. And there you have Vandals Do You Reminder. And I really hope you liked it. And we'll hopefully check out some of these titles. Please let me know what are some of your favorite books by Rick in the comments down below because I love to hear from you guys. But for now, until next time, I'm Johnny. This is Graphic Vandalism. Don't stop reading.